Hey all, Alex from Music Hub here, and today we'll be doing a review of the 1833 novel by Alexander Pushkin, Eugene Onegin, a novel in verse. Alexander Sergeyevich Pushkin, born the 6th of June 1799 in Moscow, died the 10th of February 1837 in St. Petersburg. Given political prominence as a youngster due to his being a member of the nobility, Pushkin's poetry bought him a one-way ticket to exile at just 20 years old as the Russian Empire thought his writing might incite rebellion. The exile ended up not being permanent, but Pushkin's writing maintained its forward-thinking and occasionally incendiary nature, and his name became the most famous in all of Russian literary circles. Nowadays, he is seen as the founder of Russian literature as we know it today, much in the same way Goethe is for Germany. And a lot of that has to do with Pushkin implementing Western influences, structures, and characterizations into a writing style that is nevertheless unmistakably Russian. His subject matter and use of language was without peer in his day, and it's a tragedy that his life was taken so prematurely. He was killed in a duel at only 37 years old. But what a repertoire he left. The translation I'm reviewing was done by Stanley Mitchell, born the 12th of March 1932 in London, died the 16th of October 2011 in London. A Russian literature professor who transitioned into freelance lecturing after being diagnosed with bipolar disorder in the 1970s, Mitchell's translation of Eugene Onegin was the product of over 40 years' labor and many different iterations trying to evoke Pushkin's language in a way that previous English translators weren't able to manage. I don't know Russian, so I can neither confirm nor deny this with any level of... Uh, credibility, but the translation definitely is pretty damn poetic. Eugene Onegin is a verse novel, just as Lord Byron's Don Juan was. Given that Pushkin was a fan of Byron's, it would be easy to compare the two works, but the truth is that they're very different. Pushkin's novel is a more earnest one than Byron's. It doesn't cloak its social commentary in satire. Rather, it just lays out its story and allows the reader to make judgments as they wish. In this case, Pushkin is railing against the Russian upper class and how the pace and structure of it tears people apart. Uh, the title character, Eugene, is a somewhat well-meaning fellow who is corrupted when he receives a large inheritance and is accepted fully into the upper reaches of Russian society. This results in tension, heartbreak in the case of his jilted love interest, Tatiana, and, wait for it, murder. Oh, say it ain't so. Eugene is an interesting character study in himself, but the narrative starts to lose interest in him about a third of the way through, and it's Tatiana who becomes the centerpiece of the novel. I love her character and how it develops. She transforms from this meek, love-struck figure into this strong woman who has developed more of an emotional shell around herself, and this affects her interactions with Eugene in ways that I won't spoil here. It's very sobering, certainly, but it's all clearly done with respect. You can tell uh, Pushkin enjoys this character just so much, and who can be surprised that uh, Tatiana has become a major symbol for Russian femininity in the almost two centuries since this was published. The language is beautiful to a legendary degree, and I believe it when people say that Mitchell's translation captures the essence of Pushkin more than any other. He does a great job of interpreting what I think the overall strong point of Pushkin's writing is. Uh, taking an individual feeling of a character and digging deep into its recesses, explaining all the emotional and mental conflicts and strife that are hidden away in that one feeling. And again, it's Tatiana who receives the majority of these beautiful moments, although Eugene does get one himself towards the end, when he's having second thoughts about his feelings towards Tatiana, that is perhaps the most gorgeous bit of writing in the whole book. I'll indulge the Don Juan comparison one more time as we kind of wrap up, just to say that I prefer Eugene Onegin substantially to Don Juan. Not only does it have less rambling tangents, but it has a real sense of heart behind it throughout.
I like that, and I like Tatiana's character. And I think if you're a fan of the Russian literature that came after this, this is essential reading. And it could probably even act as a gateway to other works, even if you're not familiar with Russian literature. Give it a read. It's well worth your time. And that's it. I really hope you enjoyed this video. Please make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. As always, more reviews are to come. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you next time right here on Music Hub.